Hey, I'm Birdman. Hey, I'm Michael. Time to get on target at the hub. So we got the nice new Christianness going on mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. the uh, Lakeside store. Yes. And hopefully we're going to get to start checking in with you down in uh, Tucson. Tucson. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that one of these weeks here. We. <laughs> you got uh, all these balls in here. You're like a juggling master. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, I keep dropping them. Um, but anyway, what are we talking about today? Well, today we have the Lee Armory 6.5 Grendel with a Occam defense rail on it. Uh, so Lee Armory... That's one of their flagships. Um, they partner with Occam Defense to get these rails. Um, absolutely gorgeous rifles, um, hand-built in Phoenix. So I love them in the fact that if something's wrong, I can go slap these guys myself. No, I'm just joking. I would never, <laughs> never do that to Cassie and the team over there. Um, they're too good of people. Um, but what's cool is, is I can literally pull up to their, their shop. You know, Every time I've pulled up, they're... You know, it's like a Saturday or something. They're having a little cookout. They're hanging out. They're getting guns done. It's pretty cool. Um, one of the best AK builders I've seen. Um, use all the best parts they can find. Um, sometimes right now that means that they have to go to weird places to get them. Um, but the quality of their rifle is just so much nicer than some of the other AK brands out there. Um, and I'm not going to name any names or anything like that. We're not here to throw anyone under the bus. We love every rifle AK that's made. However, Lee Armory just does it a little bit better. Um, the attention to detail, fit and finish, the parts they use all just speak for itself. Um, 6.5 Grendel, a little history about that. So we'll go into that first. Okay. Um, so 6.5 Grendel is kind of not a very known caliber. It was designed by um, Alexander, um, or I, God, I can't remember his first name, but uh, the gentleman that owns Alexander Arms, um, I think it's, uh, I think some some part of his name is Alexander. <laughs> I think that's his first name. First name, last name. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I can't. Yeah. So um, I don't remember. He with two other people, and they wanted a long range, a mid to long range cartridge out of an AR platform. Um, so they came out with this cartridge. At the time, there was a 6.5, I think it was PPC um, cartridge that was popular, and it was kind of filling that gap. Um, they came out with 6.5 Grindle, and what it did was it brought the, eight, the AR platform into that 1,000-yard area. Um, with a 16 to 24-inch barrel, you can easily hit 1,000 yards with the 6.5 Grindle nice. out of an AR platform, which means you don't have to go to the AR-10 that 308 caliber to get that thousand yards smaller gun lighter package uh yada 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 <laughs> so well okay cool that's a that's really cool mike what does that have to do with an ak well this ak is in that caliber so now you have the reliability of the ak uh work you know mud dirt whatever um with a more accurate cartridge behind it so something that actually can get to a thousand yards and do it very accurately um, the other thing that's cool is these guys paired it with dead air um, chemo mount um, which allows you to use all the dead air mount, uh, nice. suppressors and stuff like that um, and the cool thing too is most of the other companies now make adapters to use dead air mounts or if you wanted to put a q mount on or whatever so Whereas before it was that brand does their mounts, now it's a little bit more adaptive. So this having a dead air mount on it really is cool in the fact, one, they have got a great mounting system, and two, they're a good looking brake. So if you're not gonna use it at all for a suppressor, it actually is a compensator. It does divert gas to the sides. Cool. So it's gonna help you there, um, and it looks really cool. So, and then if you ever did say, hey, I wanna get a suppressor, well, now you kind of gonna look at dead air maybe a little bit just because why mess with it and um, check out their products. So, and a fantastic suppressor company. So, um, yeah, so basically they took the AR or the AR long range caliber, which was the 6.5 Grindle, right. and they combined it with the AK. Huh. So we've got an AK that'll hit, in my opinion, we could easily take that gun to a thousand yards. Um, thousand yards AK, um, magazines are 
not easy, but not hard. They're available. Okay. Um, and um, to me, it's a cool gun because 6.5 Grindel is a little bit, I would say right now, 6.5 Grindel is easier caliber to find than like 6.5 Creedmoor or um, 6.5 PRC or, you know, some of these other new calibers that have been coming out. Um, you just can't find ammo for them. And um, 6.5 Grendel, you can actually find a little bit of ammo. So, to me, very cool platform. Price point is definitely not cheap, but if we look at Arsenal's uh, and the other AKs in that price segment, to me, it's well worth the money. Uh, 17-ish, $100, so definitely not a cheap AK. Right. But uh, you get a... And I love the word, uh, it's funny how when you start thinking about it, <laughs> like I've said it like, I, I can't find another word right it's now. Okay. So, uh, but anyway, and, 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 it's all good. Uh, yeah, and it's like funny because my friends will point that out to me. They're like, yeah, you like the word, um, a lot. And I'm like, well, you get on there. And, Who doesn't? Well, and especially when you're regurgitating information. Right. Because I'm recall, I'm having to like go, okay, I got to tell you something, you know, and I got to talk and I got to make it sound good. So it's. Yeah, but it was funny. I just started thinking about that. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, I just said um like four times. So, Occam Defense, M-Lock Rail now gives you the ability to mount an optic or uh, red dot right on the top. No side mount, which is the normal AK, nice. which is a very not accurate platform. Um, can wiggle loose. You Then you've got a lot of people that actually buy a top cover for these guys and... It's got a rail mounted to it, and that straight up is loose, so you really are not very accurate. So this gives you something where you are straight up, you're rock solid. Nice. Um, you're, it's, it's, it's mounted to the, the receiver, uh, to where the barrel mounts. So super solid rail, M-lock, meaning that you can use any of today's accessories. Yay. Forward grips, Good. all that, Good. lights, lasers, everything. Um, QD points built into the gun. Two on the uh, rail, and then I don't know if there's one on the rear, but that's easy to get done on the rear, uh, which gives you the ability to move your sling. So more options built into these is just nicer. You know, it's just it's just it gives you more options instead of being like, okay, well now I got to mount my sling here. I hate it when I put the gun yeah. on my body; it just doesn't sit right. Well, now I, you can move it to the front. Okay, that fits me better. Or you know what? I'm going to go for a long range shot. I want my sling to be as tight as it possibly can to me. I'm going to wrap my arm in and I'm going to go up and you know. So you have you have flexibility in the way that you can use the gun. It's not just a carbine anymore that's designed for close quarters. Right. It is now a gun that you can reach out. So now this is, in my opinion, a DMR rifle where you're you're kind of the designated marksman. You can help on the field when we need to. Someone's rushing us, no problem. Bang, 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 bang. But at the same time, oh, he's a little far away. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm going to flip my magnifier over. I'm going to use my 1 to 10 or 1 to 6 or 1 to 8, and I'm going to go ahead and take care of this issue. So... Super cool platform. They uh, Lee Armory does a lot of Tango Down accessories. In the AK world, T Tango Down is one of the higher-end brands. Um, just super nice. Um, so make sure you check these out. Uh, I mean that. Lee Armory does not just the 6.5 Grindel. They do 7.62. They do 5. You know, all the AK, AK-74, all of them. So anything you are thinking about AK-wise check out Lee Armory, especially if you're a, a hub shopper. You know, if you're if you're local to Tucson or, or Sholo. Swing on by. Exactly. And the cool thing, like I said, is if there's an issue or if you're like, you know what, I want to do some modifications to this, or if you have an AK that isn't running right, guess what Lee Armory does? They fixes, they, God, I can't talk. They fix them for you. <laughs> they fixes them. I like they, they fixes, fixes them. I like they fixes them better. They fixes yeah. them. <laughs> they fixes them. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, the guys over there are super cool. Mario, Cassie, all the guys over there, um, just awesome. And they've got some cool Mandalorian theme AKs Ooh. coming out that we will have here. Um, I am just gonna snag one for myself just for the collection because it's that cool. So make sure you check that out. Um, but like I said, if you're looking for more of a usable gun, you know, like a an actual gun that you can Long range, short range, go out with the friends, whatever. 6.5 Grendel in this AK platform, 
this is a contender. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a home run. It's a phenomenal system. We all know AK reliability. And now we're adding a little bit more accuracy to it, which is... I don't think anyone's going to complain with More that. More accuracy is never bad. No. no. You, oh, you mean you're making it easier for me to hit something? Okay. Ta-da. I'm into that. Awesome. So, yeah. So that is the Lee Armory um, AK-47 in 6.5 Grindle. I'm sure there is some sweet acronym, you know, like AK-84, you know, something like that. <laughs> I, I don't remember that part, but all I know is 6.5 Grindle, Lee Armory, Occam Defense Rail, bad ass. Oh. So... Um, other news in the neighborhood, in the hood of the hub. Hub, hub, um, hub talk. So we, we said it last week. We are an elite dealer <coughs> um, with Christensen Arms. We are also an elite dealer with Sig Sauer. These two companies are, in my opinion, some of the best companies to work with. Um, product, uh, pricing, diversity of product. So meaning not just, oh, well, we just do bolt guns. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like they both venture out and they both have pistols and rifles and bolt guns and knives and optics and accessories. So super, super excited to have these guys. And the cool thing that you'll see is is our stores kind of make a little more sense now because the design is very similar. While it's different brands, the feel is like we did this on purpose. Right. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh-oh. So uh, sometimes, <laughs> man, woof. We make it work. So make sure you stop by these stores, both Tucson and Lakeside. They are awesome. Tucson, we expanded huge, um, big time. So blew out a wall, um, put up another wall in the training area, made the training area just a little bit smaller because while we did have big classes and while we did utilize the space a couple days a week, sales are happening every minute of the day. So... To, I needed more floor space. We we and it's funny. I I called it a ten pound ten pounds of stuff in a five pound bag, so it was legitimately that. Close. To now the it's like <laughs> not. It's like I would say like six pounds of stuff in a five pound ba- or a ten pound bag. So no no I didn't say that right. You know what? I'm gonna re. I'm gonna go again. Uh, yep. We just rewinded. <laughs> so it's like a. It's like nine pounds in a ten pound bag. So oh. we are. Right there where you're almost like, okay, you got too much stuff again. So give him a week or two and he'll fill it back. Yeah, and that's what my dad just said. So we're sitting there and a couple displays come in and he's just like, more displays? And I'm like, what? You got to sell the product. You got to be able to display it. And he's just like, yeah, what are the ones sitting in the back room? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like, oh, some stuff comes and goes. You know, some brands, you think it's going to kill it. It doesn't kill it. I don't want to keep not killing it. I want to get you guys something that you want. Not that single shot nine millimeter thingy. Oh, you mean the Altor? The be- you mean the best gun ever? You mean the, do I want to use my credit towards more Altors? Uh, no. No. No, sorry. Oh, wow. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, go ahead and call those other dealers that are selling them. I don't know who they're selling them oh, wow. to because those people did not shoot them. Ouch. Anyway, um, super scary gun. No, they shot them. Once. Once. Yeah. Um, and then they put it away and they said, okay, that was a, a cool couple hundred bucks that I shouldn't have spent. Wow. So, uh, and I shouldn't be that mean, but <laughs> it's just not good. Just don't do it. So, anyway, that is the Hub Talk for today. Make sure you check out Lee Armory. Like I said, the guys over there are super badass. And I, I'm not good with names. Cassie and Marco are the only ones I really deal with all the time. So, it's the guys Mario. at Lee Armory. Is it Marco or Mario? Mario. Mario. Did I say Marco? Yeah, because like when you Polo. said Mario, when you were Mario, I was like, oh, is there Luigi? And then no, like, it's, no, it's Mario. Okay. Cassie it's Mario. and Mario. Cassie okay. and Mario. Not so, Polo. Yeah. Anyway, okay. super, super thankful to all the guys over there. They're badass, um, and we really appreciate them. So, anyway, that is the Hub Talk for today. I am Michael. And um, I'm Birdman. And um, I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Hey, thanks for uh, pushing that subscribe button. Make sure you check out thehubaz.com.